Toilet paper. Toilet paper. I'm just gonna check up on the toilet paper. Toilet paper. There's a limit on toilet paper. You can always eat it. Go get your toilet paper before they run out. Let's see how much toilet paper is left. Toilet paper. Toilet paper and bleach. Toilet paper and bleach. Toilet paper. You should always have toilet paper. So I don't know what they're gonna do. Eat the toilet paper. Joe's favorite aisle. <laughs> We're at a local grocery store. At six in the morning, uh, they just opened up here. They had it's a 24-hour store, but they closed. They closed uh, last night at midnight because uh, of the crowd. They have a local news uh, camera man here. From the local news. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty crowded for uh, six in the morning. Stock up on some supplies. Look at that one man there. He's got a whole shopping cart full of toilet paper there. All our stores are out of toilet paper. Except for this one for some reason, but he's stocking up. Anyway, it's kind of strange scene here at 6 in the morning. Well, we're trying to buy healthy foods. Uh, foods that will last. Foods that we could freeze. Yeah, we, this is the aisle we shop in most time. Apples and... And all, all fresh foods, bananas, all, anything fresh. We always eat fresh all the time. But uh, we're kind of concerned that maybe they would start running out of things with uh, all this uh, the pandemic and everybody hoarding. So we came here today and uh, thinking maybe we could buy some uh, some produce that we could freeze. So we're buying uh, lemons and apples and stock up on lemons and garlic. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what we're getting so far: a bunch of lemons. We're gonna freeze them, and this is the stuff we eat all the time. Uh, red peppers, avocados, bananas we go through really quick. We're going to freeze the spinach, juice the grapefruits, freeze the mushrooms, and uh, mostly fresh, healthy foods we get. Uh, we already have a lot of garlic. garlic. Because you can freeze those. You can freeze garlic, my wife says. Again, for 6 o'clock in the morning, it's pretty crowded here. Everybody was worried about the toilet paper. This is my store here. We got plenty of toilet paper here. So I'm not worried about a toilet paper. We got a young man here. He's stocking up the toilet paper. We got plenty of toilet paper, right? Plenty of toilet paper? We're going to have plenty of toilet paper, right? We're not going to run out, are we? I shouldn't, though. <laughs> See? Everybody's panicking and buying toilet paper, but not here. Hi, I'm at my local grocery store, and this is a news crew. And where are you from? We're from uh, Eyewitness News. And why are you here at Woodman's today? So they actually had to um, close for a couple of hours, five hours. They um, typically open 24-7, and they've never had to do that before. So uh, we talked to some uh, store workers here, and they're just kind of updating us on what they have and what they've uh -huh. done and all that. I see. You think uh, you guys should come here later because it's 6 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be kind of normal. But I bet you if you come here at like 9, 10 o'clock, it's going to yeah, be I crazy. Think gonna, I think, yeah, it'll just kind of depend on the day. Thank you for your time, and uh, we'll, we'll watch you guys on the news. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> So here we are at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning at uh, our local grocery store. And the parking lot is pretty full here. And normally it's empty at this time in the morning. Uh, it's a huge parking lot. Well, I decided to come back to this grocery store again. Uh, I was here maybe a half hour ago. Uh, it's about, uh, we were here around 6 o'clock this morning, so now it's about uh, quarter to 7, quarter, no, what time is it? It's 7 o'clock now. And the parking lot is full all the way down. And we want to go in the store, see what it looks like in the store, but I think people are panic buying, so we'll see what it looks like in the store. Quarter to eight here. We still have plenty of toilet paper. Got displays at the end here, full. Aisles full of toilet paper. Phoenix is running low though. Plenty of toilet paper. Oh, I'm back. It's about noon here. Figure, just come here and see what it's like here at 12 o'clock. Because we were here at 6 o'clock, it wasn't too bad. But if you look behind me, Parking lot's full. Just want to see how much toilet paper is left. Sorry. Wow, this is really crowded here. Well, that huge toilet display, toilet paper display is all the way down. And 
the toilet paper aisle. Well, people say that they're running out of toilet paper, but there's a few left here. But as I turn around, just, they just got in two more pallets of toilet paper. They still have toilet paper because there's a limit of two, is it two sheets or two packages? I have, I have no idea. <laughs> so this reminds you when you were in Iran, they yes, rationed everything. Exactly, exactly. Wow. When, when everything happened, Shah left and uh, it was rationed for everything, even for gasoline. For how long? Oh, for the longest time. I, I was there five years and then I left, but it was everything was Russian. Onions, rice, oil. Was, was there a That's food shortage? Food shortage, <laughs> Food yeah. shortage? We weren't looking for toilet paper, but right. we were looking for food stuff. Wow. Yeah, but uh, it was, it was just remind me of that day. So it's pretty scary now, right? Uh, this is more scary because this that was scary. man made. This is not man made. We don't know when it's going to end. Right, oh, right. We don't know when this is going to end. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. You take care. So where are you from originally? Serbia. And this reminds I you. Former Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia. Oh my goodness. And this reminds you of that day when, when you would at that time when you were shopping there and you had to. Not, I don't know if it reminds me of that. I was I was only seven years old. Oh. I was almost saying. But was I'm it... saying, like, uh, people are freaking out. <laughs> they are freaking out, right? <laughs> Look at this parking lot, right? Yeah. It's crazy here. Well, thank you. Yeah. There's plenty of groceries, but uh, it's going to be a while before people check out here. Anyway, that was a little bit of the inside of the grocery store. It's kind of crazy. I interviewed a few people, and uh, normally this parking lot is not this full. Maybe it's a quarter of this. But this is what it looks like uh, the day before Thanksgiving or the day before Christmas. This is definitely uh, pandemonia. Got the news crews here. So anyway, it's kind of crazy here. Hi, we're back to the grocery store for the third or fourth time today. We're just going to check up on the toilet paper. See what the situation is. As we're watching the people leaving the stores, it's like toilet paper and bleach, toilet paper and bleach. Call it Diet Coke, right? A lot of Diet Cokes. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what they're gonna do. Eat the toilet paper when they run out of food? I have no idea. So we're gonna we're gonna go back in the store one more time and see what the situation is. <laughs> Candy aisles were in the pack. When we came in this morning, there's two pallets here. And there's two pallets there, so it's not completely wiped out. The one thing they did do is they took the limit from two to one. There's one limit per household. So for all you people out oh. there that have not stuck up on toilet paper, you gotta run out now. Go get your toilet paper before they run out. should always have toilet paper. I mean, what would you do without? If you run out of food, I mean, you could always eat it. These here, these were filled almost, almost up to the ceiling. Let's check uh, the fresh fruits and vegetables and the meat department, see how that's going. Uh, this is one of the best produce departments I've seen in any store in around. They always keep it fresh, stocked, and the prices are good. This is not a commercial here. <laughs> Just notice right here the chicken. If you turn around, the shelves are empty. They're completely wiped out. There, there is no more chicken. Look at that. It's amazing. The next time you go shopping, make sure you get your chicken first because they're completely wiped out of chicken. Let's go to the meat counter and see what's uh, going on there. This is where all the pork chops are. All pork products. And it's pretty wiped out. But they still have some left. But if you notice, the expensive steaks are still here. <laughs> the cheaper cuts are gone. Like the ribeyes here. The New York strip steak, that's still here. Sort of like tip, last one. Ground beef's pretty wiped out. Oh, the deli's closed. Check out the dairy, see if there's any milk and eggs left. Almost wiped out. People are buying yogurt. I want to point out that it's a Friday night, and a lot of people are just doing normal shopping. Again, they do an amazing job here. Keeping the shelves stocked. 
make sure everything's fresh. That's why people love coming here. This place is open 14, 15, 16 hours today. Constant customers. And yet, they still have milk, they still have eggs, they still have fresh produce. And it's just amazing how they could keep this so stocked. It's about 9 o'clock at night here. A lot of people are shopping still, but yet the shelves are full. Besides toilet paper, I don't know what's up with the toilet paper. It's a good store. Good store. So I guess uh, there's a limit on toilet paper and water. What if you have 12 people in your house? Right. You have to have the whole family come here. <laughs> One bottle of water. In conclusion of my hourly inspection of a local grocery store, I would have to say that besides uh, the run on toilet paper and water, which they didn't run out of, there was still some water and toilet paper there. These people have done a tremendous job keeping their shelves stocked, and I guess all the customers happy, and really a good store to shop at. And make sure you pick up the chicken early, your toilet paper early, and your water early. But besides that, you'll be, you'll be all right. <laughs>